this 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 wanna be new world order system America has. No more of this this slavery, man. Jake don't even realize they're still in slavery. You still gotta get up every morning and go out there and get it, man. Esau just ain't beating you on your back. But you still in slavery, man. You gotta get up no matter how cold it is, and you still gotta get out there and, and go go out there and make 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 him richer, man. And you become poor. It's gonna be no more of that, man. You know? It says, Zephaniah 1 and 18. Neither thy silver nor thy gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by fire of his jealousy. It's going to be devoured by fire, man. The whole land of America is telling you in the scriptures. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. And this place is going to be destroyed by fire, man. It says, for he shall make a speedy riddance. What's a speedy riddance? That's a quick end to all them that dwell in the land, man. So these missiles be shot over here, these thermonuclear missiles, they're going to destroy America, man. You know? It's going to be a speedy riddance. Because in one hour, man, this whole place is going to be laid flat. In one hour. You know? Uh... The Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah 13 and 9. Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Like I said, it's coming cruel. That day of the Lord is going to be cruel with fierce anger. He's going to let the martial law troops beat you people in. He's going to let them kill so many of you. That famine when it comes, the lack of bread. He's going to let that kill you. And when you have the lack of bread, what are you going to have? The sedition among men. Men fighting against men, man, for the, for, 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 uh, the lack of food and hunger. He gonna allow men to kill men in those days. The pestilence, man, disease is gonna be rampant, man. You know, it says, Behold the day of Yahweh, come with cruel but with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it he gonna destroy the sinners out of it so that cuts you people who say the Lord don't hate the sinner he just hate the sin he just said he gonna destroy the sinners out of this land man you people are not studying these scriptures man you know that's why you say two-thirds has to be destroyed and in and, and, and the main one Right along with him is Esau. Because they put so many uh, strongholds out there, man. You, you've grabbed a hold of those strongholds, hook, line, and sinker. You believe in them strongholds they put forward. And it's so many, man. The main one being Serapis, man. Christians, man. White Jesus, man. That's a stronghold that just, hey, our people are not, not going to let go. That's why this place has to be destroyed. You have to destroy that center out of this place, man. And they got to hit the reset button on that particular center of our people, man. Two thirds have to be brought back by the uh, by the elect in the kingdom, where it's gonna be righteousness, man. And that's all they gonna know, learn. You know. And it says, uh. It says, verse 10, for the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, 
and the moon shall not cause her light to shine, meaning it won't be any more knowledge in the, of, of this wicked knowledge pushed around in this in it, no more, man. The knowledge on the left hand side, that's what ruled this, this particular place, man, because earth is given it to the hands of the wicked. You know? Yeah, man, it won't be no more. It won't be no more light in America, man. It won't be no more wickedness, man. So Matthew, uh, Malachi, you can get Malachi. This is the book of Malachi. The book of Malachi four and one. The title is the coming, the coming day of Yahweh, man. It says, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, right? That day that comes shall burn as an oven. It's used as a metaphor comparing it to an oven. That day of nuclear destruction is gonna be hot fire, man. It's gonna be burning hot fire in that day. And it says, and the and all the proud, yeah, all they that do wickedly shall be stubble, right? And who are the proud? Esau. Even told you uh, in the Maccabees that they were proud. In the first chapter, it told you that they're proud people because they have what? That they have the strongest military. All the Edomites all over the planet have militaries. They have all the money. They're proud people, and they like to they like to flaunt it in in, in their magazines showing their wealth. That's why you always, they have Forbes. They want to show you how much I've done. Look at me. That's Esau, man. But yeah, we, we look, the Lord is looking at you. He said the eyes of the Lord, uh, God up on the sinful kingdom. He's looking at you, okay? He's going to bring you to sentencing one day. Shortly. You will be, you will be uh, punished for all your crimes, man. And it says... It says, and the day of that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, Yahweh of hosts, the Yahweh of armies. It says, going to burn them up, man. And it says, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, man. So if, 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 if some, a fire burns trees and leave them neither root nor branch, there's nothing going to be left. And when you go into Mark, the 8th chapter, it tells you that trees are men. He's going to leave them neither root nor branch, man. The branch meaning what? Your, your branch meaning what? Your offspring, man. So the Lord is getting ready to take you out, man. He's going to ready to take you and your generation out of America. He's going to burn you up. Now I'm going to look up that word burn. Just so you might have some people, hey, well, you think that particular word burn means burn? We're going to show you. We're going to show you. Uh, we're going to read that word burn right there in Malachi. Uh, Old Testament, Malachi 4. One that word burn right there shall burn them up. Hebrew 38 57. Uh, la, la hot, la hot. Strong definition to blaze, to burn up, to set on fire, flaming, kindle. That's a regular fire, man. It says to burn, to blaze, to scorch. To kindle, blaze, to flame up, scorchy, blazing. So that's gonna be a fire that's coming from what? The thermonuclear missiles, man. The ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. That's where that fire is gonna come from. And it says, verse two, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings so do you that fear the name remember the, the lord the lord is a strong tower 
that name of the Lord is a strong tower, man. And the righteous gonna run to that name. For you who fear that name, man, it says, it says, it says, for you who fear the name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. That healing is what? That's the chariots, man. That's gonna be the chariots. In his wings, man. The Lord is gonna beam the righteous up into the chambers, man. He gonna have that special hiding place for the elect. So they will they will see themselves being brought through the fire, man. That flame, they're gonna be seeing themselves brought through that flame. And they're gonna call on that name, man. You know? That word healing, healing goes back to the Hebrew word uh, Marafa, 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 Strong's definition, literally, to concretely, a medicine or abstractly, a cure, figuratively, concretely, deliverance. So that healing is a deliverance for us, man. Deliverance, man. How are we going to be delivered? Through the chariots. So that healing of the wings is a deliverance, man, by the chariots, man. When you look that up. And it says, And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. So how does calves of the stall grow up? They're being, they, be, they, they are in one spot. They're, they uh, be nursed. In the, in the stalls, man. They be nourished, man. They're being fed. And we're going to be nourished. We're going to be nourished and made whole. We're going to be made new. We're going to be given new bodies, man. We will have new minds when we come from them chariots. Out of that, out of the hands of healing. Out of that deliverance. We're going to have, we're going to have those new bodies and new minds, man. And come back to the earth and set the order up in the way it's supposed to be. It says, verse 3, and ye shall tread down the wicked. Right? Meaning trample the wicked. It says, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith Yahweh of hosts. So we're gonna we're gonna get to tread our enemies down. We get those new bodies, those extraterrestrial bodies, and come back with those super uh, 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 spiritual powers, man. The men of the Lord are going to be like the X-Men, man. And that's what it's going to be in that day. The day we look forward to, man. Because this world is way past wicked, man. You know? See, it's way, it's way past wicked, man. Look, look. Look. See that? That's why this place has to be destroyed, man. Straight damn fucking dynamite, man. You don't come up talking about, uh, give me some, give me some dap. Shit, no, man. I'm not dapping your demon ass. Sodomite. Man, go on with that shit. Man, the Lord get, that's why the Lord get ready to destroy this place, man. That vibration has to be pushed out of America, man. Man, I'm gonna get a scripture on that. This is Leviticus. Nah, I'm gonna get Romans. That's even better. <laughs> I would say bro, you couldn't do it for me. Man, sure, I ain't got it. I well, got I this word for you though. Hey, we <laughs> can I got it. This is Romans 1. This is Romans 1. 
and uh, one in uh, 25, and it says, who changed, who changed the truth of the Most High to a lie, right? It says, and who worshiped the serving creature more than the Creator? Forever, amen. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the nature, natural use, unto that which is un, which is against nature. So a filthy, uh, a filthy uh, lust, man. A vile affection is like a filthy a lust. So that which is against nature, meaning what? The, they were with each other, man. It says, and likewise also the men leaving their natural use of the woman burned for lust one towards another. And that's what you just saw then. That was this damn sodomite, about a 6'5", 245 pound sodomite. Walking right up and down. And the people, he, he, he tried to say something to the man and his family. The man looked at him crazy. Then he tried to talk to the little girl who was the last lady that was in the group. The man looked at him crazy because he know that shit ain't right. Then he got across the street and looked back over at me because, yeah, he know that shit ain't. He know his spirit know that shit ain't right, man. Hey, spirits like that has to be burned up, man. And it says, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one towards another. Men was men working that which is unseemly, man. Working that which is unseemly, meaning shameful. Because it's shameful for uh, two men to be together and two women to be together. You know, laying in bed and, and having uh, relations, man. Intercourse and shit. That shit is, uh, 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 that shit is shameful, man. It's shameful and it's evil and it's sinful. And it says, and receiving themselves the recompense, the penalty of their error, which was me, right? So they're gonna receive that penalty that's for them. It says, 